please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Jacob Miller. And I'm Megan Fee. And coming up on today's show, we have info on one trip that you won't want to miss. Plus some important end-of-the-year information, all that and so much more, because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Here are your morning announcements for Friday, May 4th, 2018. The girls track and field meet has gotten rescheduled for today. It is the conference championship at St. Charles North. After a lot of hard work and training, they are ready to compete at a high level. So good luck, girls, and go get them. There will be an Illinois Theater Festival informational meeting on Monday, May 7th at 3.30 in the community room. They will be discussing a weekend-long event for actors, tech crew, musical lovers, and more. If you want more information, please see Ms. Woodruff. There will be a final meeting for parents and students who want to know more about GHS's trip to Spain next Wednesday on May 9th at 7 p.m. in the community room. Check, so come out and see what the trip is all about. Next fall, football season will be back in action under the Friday night lights, and if you are looking to perform during halftime of these games but are not in the marching band, then look no further. Geneva High School is looking for baton twirlers. There will be clinics to teach people who want to learn how to twirl and perform. If you are interested, you can attend the tryout clinic on Thursday, May 17th from 3 to 4 p.m. in the Geneva Commons. No experience is necessary. The Western Avenue Elementary School is inviting former students and fa families to an unveiling of its new courtyard dedicated to the memory of beloved fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Beth Shannon. The school is also seeking former students of Mrs. Shannon's who may want to speak at the ceremony. If you are one of her former students, please consider attending this event from 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday, May 19th at Western Avenue School. Refreshments and a tour of the newly erected courtyard will be included. Students interested in speaking can contact Western Avenue Principal Mr. Zeman at rzeman at geneva303.org or by calling the school to attend this event. Please contact or RSVP by clicking the flyer in the online backpack at geneva304.org. There are two lists posted outside the textbook cafe. They have the names of the students who have fines that must be resolved before the senior's last day of school on May 24th. These seniors will not receive their packets for graduation until the fines have been resolved. If you see your name on the list, you must see Mrs. McDonald in the textbook cafe or Mrs. Rennie in the main, main office. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we have some important updates from last night's badminton game. Plus, we'll cover some headlines from outside the halls, so stay tuned. This glass of water represents Earth's oceans. This is what we've put into those oceans over the past 25 years. 52.9 million cigarettes and filters. 9.5 million plastic bottles. 7.8 million plastic bags. Causing our oceans to now be 80% pollution. But every time you choose a reusable bottle over a plastic one, every time you recycle, and every time you pick up litter, you help prevent this problem from growing. Let's keep our oceans clean. A huge congratulations goes out to the badminton team who got third last night at sectionals. Helena Korda and Brooke Blazinski qualified for state in doubles. They are headed to Eastern Illinois University next Thursday. Great job and best of luck in the rest of the season, girls. For any students that are looking to continue to play high school sports throughout the summer should sign up for summer camps. The summer athletics camps registration is now open. Please visit the Geneva High School website for camp dates and times. If you are interested in becoming an official ref for IHSA, please see Mr. Carley in the athletic office. And now for some news out. 
Falls. A volcanic eruption has spewed molten rock from hazardous gases and the ground in a small community on Hawaii's Big Island, sending people fleeing from their homes as trees burn and the threat of more destruction is feared. Kilauea Volcano's eastern rifts cracks miles away from its summit erupted late Thursday afternoon, spurting lava and in a community of about 1,700 people near the Big Island's eastern edge. Authorities ordered residents to evacuate two community centers which are serving as shelters. And it's more than just a pun. May the 4th is an official full-fledged holiday, Star Wars Day. So here are some quick things to celebrate this awesome day. First, check out all the new content for the new Solo movie coming uh, soon. Next, through May 25th, Star Wars Force for Change will donate $1 to UNICEF USA for each post containing the hashtag Roar for Change. And lastly, of course, tonight rewatch some of those classic movies. I think I'm going to be doing Empire Strikes Back. Got a little ahead of ourselves, but now here's three to know before we go. A summer athletics camp's registration is now open. The girls track and field team conference meet has been rescheduled for today at St. Charles North, so come out and support them. And you may see the eighth graders doing their tours around the school today, so please be respectful for our future Vikings. Well, Geneva, that looks like it's all the news we have for you today. I'm Jacob Miller. And I'm Megan Fee. Have a wonderful weekend, Geneva, and may the 4th be with you. <laughs>